According to John chapter 13, verse 7, we'll read only that verse and I'll be as quick as I possibly can. Is it past 12? Yeah. What time do you get out? Oh, uh, uh. Is it me or my wife? It can only be one from us. Okay. Uh, John chapter 13, verse 7. Please read. Jesus replied to him. Jesus replied to him. You do not realize now what I am doing. Yes. But you will fully understand it later. Yes. What did Peter say? <laughs> Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. Bless and sanctify it. We decrease as you increase in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah, it's a very well-known story, saints. Uh, Jesus wants to wash the feet of Peter. And Peter refuses. I you will forgive me for our generation, it's Peter. Just like a bed. A bed is a bed, whether it's flying or it's a bed you lie on or you do something bad, it's a bed. You won't come here and tell us how to speak English. You were here before you. A bed is a bed. Amen. It's not a broom. A man this old. It is Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. He wanted to wash the feet of Peter. Amen. And Peter refuses. Amen. Because he had an understanding of what it means to wash somebody's feet. It was something positional. It was an assignment or a service rendered by slaves to their masters. Amen. And it just could not be the other way around. Say, it could not be the other way around. So, Peter understood. And he refuses because he had a clear perception Amen. of who Jesus was. He had been walking with Jesus from the beginning of his ministry. Jesus' ministry started specifically in the book of John from chapter 2 where he changed waters into wine. And the Bible says in verse 11 of the same chapter, he thus revealed his glory. They did not know who Jesus was until chapter 2 of John. In Cana of Galilee. Where he changed waters into wine. And Peter recorded or engraved this in his heart. That all oh, this Jesus does not need grapes in order to make wine. He cuts Processes. He's not only a master, but he's master over processes. Amen. He doesn't follow normal protocols, policies, and uh, processes. 
because he's a man. That was chapter 2. Let me tell you before I move on, Jesus cuts processes. He, he doesn't need potential in you to do what he will do through you. Where people don't see what because you don't need water for wine. You need grapes. Those are normal processes. So our Jesus will make wine where there is no grapes. People may look at you and say, I don't see any potential in him. But he does his processes, divine processes, where there's no potential. He doesn't need grapes to do wine. You may not see grapes in me, but I can assure you, you will drink wine from my life. But my family may look down at me, my friends, my community, and even at the workplace, they may not see where Jesus is taking me because he doesn't need grapes to do wine. So Peter grasped that and assimilated it in his mind and in his heart that this is a master over processes. And when you continue with the book of John, he healed the son of the centurion. And the son of the centurion was not present in the crime scene. In the scene of healing, he was not there. He was miles away. And thereby revealing himself as master over distance. He doesn't care where your problems are located. He's master over location. Locate your files in Tobek when you are in Cape Town. He can solve your problems in Lusiki Siki when you are in Cape Town. He can heal your relative in Port Elizabeth when you are in Cape Town. His master over distance, his master over location. Not a master of location. Because we see symptoms sometimes and we don't see the sources, but he locates the sources. We love you, Lord. And Peter engraved this in his heart that this Jesus is master over distance. And when you continue, you will find Jesus in chapter 5. A man in the pool of Bethesda. Amen. And this man had been there for 38 years. Amen. And Jesus was less than 33 years of age. Amen. Revealing himself as master over time. Yes. He doesn't care how old your problems are. Yes. He doesn't care how far back generationally they go. He doesn't care if this was your grandmother and your grandfather's problem before your father was born. He, he doesn't care if it can be traced back generations and generations backwards. He is master over time. He came as an underdog, less than 33 years of age, facing a problem that was 30. Eight years old. Say Jesus is older than my problems. Jesus is older than my familial problems. However far they can be traced back, but Jesus is still older. He is master. It can 
not been done enough for our Jesus. Don't give up on God, for He won't give up on you. Your problems may seem old and matured, but He's more matured than your problems. The full and understand to boys in Nago was Namayo, but in the Sanke, this is good. Over humanity. 
And in chapter 11, he raises Lazarus, revealing himself as master over death. How to master over death. That's why he reverses death. Amen. Apart from raising Lazarus and numerous others from death, he's master over death. He can stop death. That's why what our tandas are looking as a guy what a plus 15 years. You must know your Jesus is master over death. There are people here who have a feeling of death. You feel like you are going to die. You don't have much time. Your God is master over death. He reverses the date of death. That we are we are booba on such and such a day. La pale obituary. Your Jesus is master over death. Hallelujah. He wanted to kill Moses at some stage. And the wife of Moses circumvented the situation. And Moses did not die. But he lived for other decades of years. I've come to tell you, you, you decide when to die. commissioned by him. Yeah. Yeah. Yet, he 
occupied the back seat of the boat. And he allowed humanity to take the steering wheel. He sat with the back quiet. Because sometimes he will remain dormant in your life until circumstances demand his presence and visibility. We are Fagala! As if he has no interest in the storms of your life. Come on, saints, I don't know if I'm the only one who knows it. Sometimes we go through storms. Because sometimes oh, it looks like he doesn't care. Yay. Yet in his mind he says, I know yes. what I know. Yes. He will let you struggle with your storms until you know that you are limited. Until you know that you don't have what it takes. Because he oh. God will let you struggle until you realize that you're not equal to the task. Yeah. 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 When they realized that they were not equal to the task, Amen. they knew where to go. They went down so that Jesus can come up. Because other versions say he was at the bottom. He remains at the bottom until you come to the bottom. He remains at the back until you come to the back. Then he will take his rightful position in your life. He won't go up until you go down. He won't go front until you go back. Tell your neighbor, go back, Mark. This battle is not yours. Simon 
It's Luke chapter 7, chapter 7 or chapter 4. They had a problem. And they said, if this, if this man was a prophet, he would know that this is a promiscuous woman. And Jesus gave them a parable. I won't go to that parable. But that suggests the more gratitude you have, the lower you're willing to go. Your gratitude can best be expressed, expressed in your loneliness.
are being abused. You are being misused. You are being abused. You are being misused. A teacher like yourself. There are no teachers here. There are no millionaires here. In the kingdom, in its proper position, millionaires should be ushers. When you say, Papa, you are a so it was a position yes. of the lowly towards their masters. That, that, that's why Peter did not understand. He said, you are master over all these things, yet you are now taking the position of a servant. Because I said sometimes he will take unfamiliar positions in your life. Kubengati yeah. things are mastering him. That is why even Peter, when Peter denied Jesus, it was not out of cowardice. It is because he did not understand that this man who is master over processes, over time, over death, over humanity, and all these things, master of all, but he becomes a servant to myself. He saw him at the cross being mastered by circumstances, and he said, I do not know this man. He was trying to say, this is not the Jesus I know. It was not denial, it was confusion. Yeah. Yeah. The Jesus I know is master over everything. I don't know this man. Because, because there are seasons in our lives where he takes unfamiliar positions. Oh, Peter was confused because Jesus was an, an escape artist. Better than holding. Yes, Hosea. We must be. Look, look at his life in the Gospels, where they tried to kill him. One day in the temple, they tried to kill him, and the Bible says, in, in the Bible says they tried to stone him, and the Bible says he slipped through the crowd. What did he do? He slipped through the crowd. He blinded the crowd. <laughs> because sometimes he does something to your circumstances. But sometimes he does something to you. Because in, a, in another version, they, they were trying to kill him. Okay. They, they were trying to kill him. The Bible says they took him to the edge of the chief. The edge of a hill. And the Bible says he hid himself. Sometimes he does something to your circumstances. And sometimes he does something to you. When men attacked the angels in Sodom, he blinded the enemy. Same with Elisha. When the, the enemy wanted to kill them, he blinded the enemies. He does something, if he doesn't do something to your circumstances, he does something to yourself. During the Old Testament, he parted the waters of the Red Sea. During the times of Joshua, he parted the rivers, the, the, the waters of the, of, the, of the river Jordan. But during his time, he did something to himself. He left the waters. Yeah, for that, he left the waters. Because sometimes he will leave your circumstances as they are. And he will do something to yourself. He will do something to yourself. He walked upon the waters of the lake of God. Amen.
But I've come to assure you. Later you win. You may not know what God is doing in your life right now. But I have come with a message of assurance. Later you win. I'm sure Job did not understand when he had boils all, all over his body. But when he had a skin as smooth as that of a baby, he understood. You don't understand. I don't know what you're going through that you don't understand. Jesus won't make you understand now. He will continue to do what he's doing. Jesus. Yeah, entertainment can it's war. But he play the harps. Play the trumpets. People become entertainment. They are playing the harps. They are playing the trumpets. Yet he is demolishing the walls. Yes. Yeah. 